Hello everybody, welcome to the Santest Room. Today we're going to take a look at the insanely good rock drum machine. So, ages and ages ago now, probably over a year ago, uh, when this first came out, I reviewed it, demoed it, and I was really, really enthusiastic about it then. Um, and it didn't even have audio bus, but it was just brilliant for practicing with and stuff, and it was just great. Now, it's had several updates since then, and now it's just had another update with song mode here, which makes this... Uh, incredible, incredible. Probably the best drum machine for iOS uh, for rock drums. Rock drums. Okay, so it's not going to do your electronic stuff really. It's basically for rock. It sounds incredible. It sounds great. But you can select from uh, a number of different kits here. Let's see. Uh, And as you see along the bottom here, I have this set on sounds. This will show you. This will show you the sounds being used. And it also includes toms. So if I go full here, you can see the toms that's been used as well. And we can shuffle them around, change it. We're not set to one. So for instance, like it's like having a warehouse full of drums. You can choose different bass drums, different snares, different hats, different toms to go with the pattern that you've selected. So you're not limited in that respect at all. So, for instance, we can just change this to power two. And you'll see it all swap down here. But if we don't like that snare or the kick, and if we're not happy with the mix, or the tempo, obviously. Speed that up, and we can also do it for the toms. So you see, you've got like incredible amount of control over the sounds as well. So not only that, there you can program your own patterns as well. So you know, if you wanted to set up your own patterns, then you can, and then you can save them. Um, like it says, this is different different patterns, so we can we can select different uh, sort of patterns that are based on sort of well known songs. You can kind of get an idea from the the name of the pattern there and like I said you can choose your your kit so that's you know most people are going to know this or even if you just hit this oh, let's see no that's for creating a brand new but if we hit the little dice changes all that as well so you see we have our mixer we have our sound selector here and now jamming jamming is very cool jamming will sort of react it'll be like a real drummer you know drummers are difficult to control right i know because i was a drummer and uh, <laughs> you know but they, they they like to put fills in and stuff well this lets you do this as well okay and you can select your bars for a fill you can have it so it'll already fill every eight bars or even every 32 or down to two bars and then you can control the intensity of your fill here with this jam intensity thing. So it kind of sounds like this. Let's set it for two. So that's how you get your jam intensity going, right? So we've covered the basics there, but this is more more about the new song mode. The new song mode now just makes this fantastic. Fantastic and very, very, very simple to program complete tracks. Now, so first of all, we're going to go to 
a new one and we can set our BPM to start off with and our sound set. So I'm going to stick with tight kit here. So the sound set I'm going to use for this is tight kit and we're going to leave it. Well, it's actually, no, let's put it on 120. So 120 BPM, save that. Uh, I'll write a name for the song, okay. Okay, we'll write the name for the song. We'll call it um, Rock Drum Machine Test 1. And we'll call it OK. So we can do that and save. Now, here we go. So this little plus now. This lets us choose. We can even choose the... the, the the, the the drum pattern, the style, the style of drum pattern. So first of all, we're going to choose. Let's just choose uh, basic rock, okay? And we're going to just choose beat here. And that's going to be our first one. Now, if there was there would be one thing that I would like to see is a preview here. So if I hit beat again, maybe I get that beat sort of thing. Just so if the developers watching, that would be cool. But it's not super necessary. And here we can choose our bar. So let's choose two bars here. And then this little button here, fill. Okay. So this is going to be our intro. And we're going to take our jam intensity quite up there. And we're going to save that there. So there it is. There's our first two bars. And that'll be like our intro sort of thing. So if we play it, Right, that's it. Fantastic. So now let's add a rocking, just to keep it easy. Now this time, remember, now we don't want it to be a fill. So we can switch fill off. And I'll have this go over, sometimes it would be seven bars, but I'm going to have this go over three bars. And I'm going to take the jam intensity down now because I don't want it to be quite sort of ordinary. So we're going to save that now. And for this third one, here just for keeping it easy i'm gonna go back to i'm gonna sit and let me just see where i am here three bars yeah i'm gonna keep it on two bars i'm gonna go back to beat i'm gonna have the intensity there and i'm gonna have this so for one bar okay so we're gonna save that and there it is. And then for this, we're going to be like, a, this would be the start of the chorus, maybe. So I'm going to have this now for seven bars. Okay. And I'm going to have it play uh, this um, whole lot of love thing. Now, this is where it'd be nice to have a preview button. That would make things even quicker because unless you're kind of paying attention it will probably wear great, you know, if you knew your own patterns that you programmed. Well, hey, you know, we can't have everything. So we don't want that to be a fill. So you remember to turn it off. And we don't want the jam intensity to be too great during a chorus because, you know, unless you've got a psychopathic drummer, you know, you'll want to imitate Keith Moon, stick it on high. <laughs> but otherwise, keep the jam intensity quite low for your verses and choruses and stuff like that. Hey, but, you know, it's your choice. So save that. So we've got this uh, two bar intro, this blah, blah, blah. And that's our chorus for seven bars. So we're just going to add, I'm doing this to show you how ridiculously simple it is. So I don't know now. So I'm going to have this uh, this thing here, which says snaring for one bar. Jam intensity quite high again. I need to fill, so that's it there. And then we can go back to our our thing. Now also what I'd like to see here is if I long hold i can move them round that's great but i'd also like a copy and paste so i've wanted the first thing there so i had it so three bars so three bars are rocking so we'll just go back to that then so it was three uh it was rocking on three bars so oh hang on a sec cancel um oh sorry adding there so it was rocking and we'll leave it on three bars and the jam intensity was quite low. Also, as well, I like to see the percentages here. So a couple of things, you know, a preview and the percentage. That'd be nice. But it was quite low and it was quite thin. It was on for three bars, so we'll save that. So we're kind of back into our, our verse thing here. And so on and so forth. But the thing is, this is the fastest of anything of, of your desktops and stuff like that. This is 
the quickest way so far I've come across ever just to create a track using fills and drums and things. Seriously, I, I think it is. Um, the drag and drop thing can work on desktops quite fast, but you know, it's this is this is so cool. So let's just play what we've got so far here. fill in there and carry on how brilliant is that how brilliant brilliant is that so that's song mode and you you can play like i said you've got your 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 your, your thing so that's our, our 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 test for rock drum machine like i said it's 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 just a fantastic 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 machine for playing for playing drums um programming patterns uh, making life very easy with the mixer don't forget you've got the sounds you can choose your different sound sets uh, like oh it's just and if we go back into song mode you know you get this is a little thing that I did yesterday I tend to like tight kit this is the demo that comes with it. There's another thing to point. You can have the same pattern there, but in um, do something with the intensity and make it into a fill. you've got like the same pattern but the 71 percent uh, jamming thing going on there just just awesome just awesome and you can start it from anywhere you like Brilliant, absolutely brilliant, fabulous, fabulous drum machine, just great. And look at all these different styles, you get the odd times, different things there to start off with. You can just play. Don't like the sound of that snare. Don't want it to be a ride, I'd rather it was a... Uh, Let's see some high acts. And then you've got this as well for changing out the kit. And then when you're happy with it, you can save a new kit. So there you go. What more do you want? Fantastic. Very, very easy to create new patterns as well. Very easy to like just build your own, and there's three levels of intensity as well. So, for instance, um, let's let's take this to a dead basic here. We can just set up our new. So 
how easy it is and then again you just save and you can see the full kit if you want to you can program it like that just brilliant absolutely brilliant fantastic fantastic app amazing job all right guys hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you later don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel visit us at the be kind become a patreon it really helps us out it's as little as a dollar a month or donate for us all right guys i'll see you later